send it to the other side. Oh, we have LeBron James oh, sitting he down. Out. LeBron he James got out. pretty quick. 22 points on the night. Let's hear from him. LeBron, the only player that's played uh, this meant this much in year 20 of the playoffs is Kareem. And just wondered, and you know, the, the, at the level that he was then, how were you able to put this together to respond to Game Five? Uh, where did that start mentally, and then when did, when did you start to feel that swell with your teammates as well on the court tonight? Um, uh, probably when we landed back in LA after Game Five. Uh, you know, the whole thing in my mind was how much rest I can get. Um, you know, going you know from that from that Game Four where we. You know, we expended a lot of energy in that game and then had to leave the very next morning and, you know, trying to bounce back to game five. Uh, it was just, it, it was tough on uh, our whole ball club, including myself. And uh, from the moment that we landed um, here after game five, uh, all I was thinking about was just trying to sleep as much as I could, rest as much as I could, make sure my body was, uh, get my, my treatment and my rehab and things of that nature, but staying off my feet as much as possible coming into tonight. And, um, Felt pretty good when I woke up this morning. Uh, I felt excellent, actually, this morning. And the um, reason I was here so early, too. Um, but, you know, it was a good bounce back for us, a uh, big time game for us. And, uh, you know, we fed off our fans once again. And, you know, it's, it's great for us to be able to give back to them like they gave us tonight. If we could keep our questions to one, please, so I can try and get as many people questions as possible, that would be great. We'll go with Dave. LeBron, uh, over here on the side, uh, we know the rigors of the job can sometimes be tiring, 40 plus minutes, the travel woes, all the alike, and sometimes your opponents may key in on that as they view you. Uh, how does the game of basketball keep you young? Um, well, I mean, obviously as I get older, I play with, I'm playing with much younger guys. Uh, uh, um, I think my... My boys um, keep me young, I meaning my sons, they keep me young. So, um, I mean, usually before games, I watch um, a lot of film on the opponent. But my son Bryce actually had an AAU team, an AAU game, an EYBL game in Phoenix tonight. So, up until probably about 45 minutes on the clock, I was watching his game. Um, and watching him going out there and performing and seeing him play, that, that kind of inspired me as well. Um, it kept me young tonight. Hey, Bron. Obviously, you guys wanted to treat tonight like a game seven. Uh, in what specific ways did you do that, and how did you instill that mentality down through the team? No, it was definitely a game seven mentality for us. Um, you know, um, we understood that we had an opportunity to play in front of our fans, and we wanted to try to end it tonight. We came out with a, with a disposition, uh, with a, with a uh, next play mentality, and even when we made mistakes, we, we, we brushed it off right away and moved on to the next play. Um, so I just think from um, the start of the game, we were just locked in on our, on our game plan and all the way till uh, the final seconds of the game. Dan. LeBron, um, when you signed with this team in 2018, you talked about moments and, and stuff like that and the opportunity to have these special moments here, but all sorts of circumstances kept a lot of those from happening, injuries, COVID no crowds, et cetera. Um, was there any moment tonight that stood out to you as like, this This is why you wanted to be a Laker? Um, I just wanted to be a part of a, you know, a historical franchise when I decided to come here and um, be able to just change the narrative of what the franchise had been going through before I got here for a few years. Uh, um, you know, obviously this franchise is known for, for winning championships and, and winning big and playing in big games and being a part of postseason and the fans coming out and, and having an opportunity to, to be a part of that. So, um, you know, you know, tonight is another moment that I've always envisioned, um, um, you know, and when I became part of this franchise, and like you said, because of circumstances, things of that nature, COVID and, um, you know, injuries and things of that nature, we haven't had many postseason games with a full capacity season. Um, but uh, full capacity stadium. So, but um, so far we've had three, and they've been electric um, in this postseason, and we'll hope to continue that in the next round. Yolan, Bron, how dominant was AD defensively during this series? Um, I think he was AD. Um, I think he was AD. Um, I think we all know the world knows the, the, the basketball guys know the, the competition know that how dominant AD is defensively. Um, so, um, he was AD. Um, he was spectacular. BT. 
Brian, Darvin said that you shared some things with the guys after the game was over about the next level. What did you say to them, and why was it important for you to share that with that team? Because uh, we got a young ball club uh, with not much experience in the postseason. So I just try to give my knowledge um, about, you know, uh, what I've been through and uh, what they could expect. You know, so as hard as this series felt and as hard as this series was, it gets even harder um, when you move a level up. Um, so we was able to conquer level one, and now we move to level, level two. And it gets harder and harder. So, um, you know, they, they understood that, and, um, you know, they'll be ready for it. Last two, we'll go Ramona, and then we'll end with Rachel. Bron, you, you talked about just the connection with the crowd in, in this game. Do you feel a deeper connection with the crowd in L.A. this year? Just as Dan mentioned that you have you didn't get to do that in 2020 and 21 and all that. I know Jack Nicholson was here for the first time since the since uh, the last year's season opener. Do, do you feel that building as these playoffs go on and you get to play in front of this home crowd? Um, I mean, I feel blessed to be able to play the game anytime I put on a uniform and to be able to put on a Laker uniform and play for such a historical franchise, it's, it's an, always an honor. Um, the connection, I think you got to ask the, the fans, you got to ask the Laker fans what the connection is between uh, me and them. Um, you know, I feel welcome. Um, I'm happy to go out there and perform and showcase what I'm still able to do um, 20 years in the game. And uh, hopefully I just add to more memories that they've had for so long with so many great players and so many great teams. And hopefully I could be part of some of those memories. Last question. LeBron, what was your first thought when you saw the schedule for the next round being every other night and what challenge is that? Um, well, it's, it's definitely going to be a challenge. Um, but both teams have to go through it. Um, you know, it's us in either Sacramento or, or, or Golden State. We're going to be on, both on the same schedule. The plus is that it's not a, a four-hour flight like we were just taking to go to Memphis and losing two hours, you know, during the process. So you was, you was losing six hours just going back there right off jump. So, um, you know, we stay in the same time zone. We stay in the same state. It's an hour flight to each place, less if it's sack, a little bit more if it's to the bay. Um, so that definitely helps. I know, I know you guys are happy about that as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially BT, he going to wine country no matter where we go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he already he wrote them notes down already. He tapping in already. So, uh, it's all good, man. It's, the NBA's in a good place. All right, appreciate it. Thanks. Wine country anywhere. That is the largest series clinching win by a LeBron James team in his career. Get up. Get up. John Morant. With 10 points tonight, we'll hear. To feel the energy of the crowd, to watch LeBron doing what he's doing, AD what he's doing, D'Lo, and then to win this series against that team? Uh, it's amazing, um, to say the least. You know, we wish we could have got it done, you know, in five at third place. But, you know, to do it here in front of our fans is, is a lot of fun. And um, for them, you know, the three that you named, the performances that they had tonight, um, both ends of the floor, I thought AD was way more effective than even what the stat sheet shows uh, just back line of defense uh, making it tough for them to get anything in the paint uh, anytime you have Ja go three for 16 uh, Bang go five for 16 you know you have a really uh, good opportunity to you know win those games by big and like I said it was it was great to do it here Yovan uh, Austin, can, can you take us through the, the moment of, of you with the Euro step and, into the reverse and, and then you and LeBron kind of doing the little Euro dance in the lane? Yeah, I mean, uh, this game is uh, a lot of emotion and instincts and, you know, you, you have fun with the game when the game provides you to have fun. Um, I told him on the sideline, thank you for coming over and not leaving me on an island by myself doing it. Uh, when he come over, I was like, oh, okay, I got, I got another one with me, so let's do it again. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, Kurt Sandoval will do the draw in Channel 11. Austin, I'm curious, what uh, wisdom did you take out of what LeBron told you guys after the game? Tonight? Yeah. Uh, 
uh, you know, uh, it's always good to, you know, win, uh, win the series, but, uh, you know, the job's not finished. You know, we have um, another series coming up, either Sack or the Warriors, and, you know, we'll enjoy this one tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, next day, is, uh, when we figure out who we play, we'll lock in on whoever that is and go compete to win another series. Uh, he said, you know, obviously this is my first time um, in the playoffs, and he said every step gets harder, um, as you would expect. So, um, it's not it's not really you know spending too much time enjoying this is enjoy it but you know there's still more work to do okay austin one of your opponents this series called lebron old it got a lot of attention um does he ever seem like a 38 year old to you and does he ever seem like one of your peers 24 years old uh no he honestly seems about 18 he acts like he's 18 um he's very childish in a great way um so no um but at the same time uh, you know i grew up you know i watched a game of basketball um so seeing him play for you know as long as he's played um some days i i sit back and it's more so when i go home and family members friends are really like bring it to my attention that you know that I'm on a team with him um, is really when I, I sit back and think about it, about how crazy it is how long he's been doing this um, but how youthful he is at the same time 